Did you know you can SSH directly into a REPL? Yes, you can connect from your local computer's terminal to the back end of your REPL to do some terminal magic. Let's take a look today at just what you can achieve with that and why you might want to do it in the first place. So up front, this isn't available on the free plan, but is available in the Hacker and Pro monthly price plans. Both of these allow you to SSH directly into any single REPL. And this gives you some superpowers that you might not know you've got. So whether you've got an established workflow that you think would be disrupted by not having direct terminal access to your code, or you just fancy exploring and doing something interesting with the terminal without risking damage to your local setup, this is for you. Now, setup is easy and on a per REPL basis, so create the REPL that you want to SSH in, and in the tools pane, scroll down until you find SSH. You'll need to connect an SSH key to it, but it gives you some code to do that. So let's generate a key for ourselves and we copy the output into the space. Now we've added it, we need to connect. Now the simplest, most straightforward method to connect would be with a standard SSH command, but there's a lot to give it here. Let's have a, let's have a quick look. We need to use SSH minus I to identify where the SSH key is coming from. And in this case, it's my .ssh slash replit file. And then for each REPL, you'll have a different username and host name. So the username is copyable there at the host name, which is also copyable from the SSH pane. Hitting enter there and saying yes to the fingerprint will allow us to connect directly to the REPL. And we can use it as normal there. Now this is the exciting bit because we are connected through our local terminal, through something running on my computer directly to the back end of our REPL and we can manipulate and mess around with it from our terminal in the same way we do anything else. But we get a bunch of Replit superpowers that you wouldn't otherwise have. So what exactly can you do with it? Well, one of the things you can do is explore command line utilities without having to install anything on your local machine. This gives you a massive amount of flexibility and reduces that worry you get when you're installing stuff on a technology stack that you're reasonably secure with we've all broken our local machine's command line stack at some point. With SSH into a REPL, you don't have to worry about that because if you do break anything, just start a new REPL or reset it to its initial state. It's very, very clean and easy. Let's take a look at this where I just want to use the batch command and it's not installed. Because our REPLs work on Nix and because of a bit of magic behind the scenes, if you attempt to run a command line utility that isn't installed in your REPL, it'll prompt you to install it. It'll add it to the .nix file, and that means it'll be available directly. And when you run it, we're now getting bat processing our output exactly as it should, which is pretty cool. So apart from removing the worry and the overhead of exploring and experimenting with command line tools, you'll also have the ability to stream files back and forth from your REPLs using a tool like SCP. And it's especially good if you need to sync or upload entire directories or very, very large files into your REPL because it uses a bit of terminal magic to send things in a more direct way. I'm going to use SCP to send quite a large video file to my REPL. You can see that the command is a bit lengthy, but what it's going to do is connect to my SSH. It's going to start uploading that file to the folder I've suggested. And once done, you'll see that the video file pops up there and I can access it directly from my REPL and do what I need with it. This is such a better way to work when you've got lots of files stored locally that you need to get up there. One other thing that's really, really special is the use of something like Nix Shell. What Nix Shell does is it gives you a virtual sandbox environment to try out different Nix packages, combine them together and see what they do. This is great, but you do need to have Nix installed on your local machine. And that involves a bunch of setup in the first place, keeping it updated and keeping your dependencies going. Because your REPL runs Nix in the background, you can actually run Nix shell directly from your SSH, which means that we can run something like JQ to see how it's going to pass this JSON, which is pretty cool, without needing to explicitly install anything. And actually, we haven't changed the default Nix setup of that REPL at all, because if we go and just try and run JQ from scratch, you'll see that the package isn't installed. It's because that's because Nick Shell is a virtual sandbox machine running, in this case, inside a virtual sandbox machine, which is not only really cool, but fantastically useful for experimenting with how your setup's going to work before you make those commitments to your actual running REPL. 
course, you've probably seen a lot of my commands have been a little clunky because I've been manually connecting to the REPL. Of course, you can add connection details to your SSH configuration file. Here, I'm on my local machine and just using Nano to edit that. I'm going to take the code directly from the SSH panel and paste that in, writing my file and exiting. Now, I can connect with a much shorter string and when I want to do something like SCP, I don't need to pass it any of the connection details because it already has them. And this will make your SSH experience on Replit much, much nicer. Now, don't forget, this isn't a one and done sort of deal. This is per REPL. So you can have multiple setup as experimentation sandboxes, as ways to go and play with command line tools or change your setup. Or if you've got an existing workflow that you want to move into the cloud, this is for you. This makes going from a local environment to a Replit deployment that much easier. Why not sign up for Hacker or the Pro Plan and try out SSH today?